I'm Courtney Silva with Salient Process, and I am going to go over the Google API and map controls available in our Enterprise Edition of the Spark Toolkit. I've already created a coach, and now I will go over the configuration options. The Google API control, you need to put in an API key here, and there we have a knowledge base article on how to get an API key, which I will go over at the end of the video. API version, the version of the API, and also, just a side note, when you hover over the text here, there are tooltips that will appear to help you out. Use location sensor if that is selected. It will use the location of the user. Include places library. When selected, it will include the places library and, it should, and you should use it with the Google Places control. Events, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. So for this example, uh, when the API loads, there will be an alert letting us know that it's loaded. This is the map control under behavior. Um, again, you want to put in your Google API key that you put in in the API, Google API control that I went over just a second ago. And same thing with Google API version. Um, and this list here is self-explanatory. When they're selected, um, for example, hide pan control, when that's selected, it will hide the pan control. Uh, hide zoom control, when selected, it will hide the zoom control. When not selected, you know, those things will not be hidden. Uh, show marker, this will show, this will indicate whether uh, to show the marker or not, so when it's selected, it will show the marker, when not selected, it will not. For this example, I'm setting a static location, so I have my latitude and longitude here. And if you are wondering how to get latitude and longitude for a specific location, um, all you have to do is in a search bar, type in um, you know, latitude and longitude for a specific address. And there are websites out there where you can put in the address and it will give you the latitude and longitude of that, of that address. Appearance, we have a couple selections here for map type, uh, roadmap, satellite, hybrid, and terrain. Zoom level, uh, 0 to 19. 0 is the whole world, and uh, 19 uh, is very, uh, includes buildings, it's the highest zoom. Width, you can use PX percentage or EM, and if no unit is specified, PX is assumed. Height, uh, the same as, as width, you can use PX percentage or EM. Event. Uh, I'm setting an on-click event, so when the map is clicked, it will set the um, latitude and longitude to this, which is the Statue of Liberty. And the reason I have map 1 here is because the map control ID is map 1. So let's play this. Here's our alert, letting us know that the API has loaded. Okay, and here's our map. And when I click on it, it will change the location to the Statue of Liberty. And you can use, uh, change the map to satellite here. Or you can put the little guy down somewhere for a street view. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. So first go to salientprocess.com and then select support. and then click on learn more about Spark Toolkits. And this will take you to a form to fill out and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Then once you have access, you can browse our knowledge base. And I will show you the article on how to get the Google API. So under mobile, uh, Google map and Google API status location. This will go over how to get the your uh, Google API key. We also have a getting started section, which has a lot of useful getting started articles as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.